Professor Monty, let's talk about solving an equation by using the quadratic formula. Okay, remember uh, the general form of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Once I get into that form, the quadratic formula looks like this, x equals this big formula. Now, there's plenty of things on the internet. You can go find ways to remember what this is, cute little sayings and things. I don't know about you, but song lyrics stick in my mind. I wish I could remember school as well as I can remember song lyrics or jingles from commercials. But I learned this as a song to the song Pop Goes the Weasel. So it goes something like this. So here's how I remember it. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So if that helps, use that. If it doesn't, find something that helps. Maybe you just remember formulas. But we're going to use that to solve this equation. 2X squared minus 5, oops, 2X squared minus X minus 5 equals 0. This doesn't factor nicely. So I'm like, I don't know how to solve that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So notice a is the x squared coefficient. So a is 2 in this case. b is the x coefficient. b is negative 1. And then c is negative 5, the constant. Now, if that's not a 0, you need to make it a 0 first so it's in this form before you use the quadratic formula. OK, so let's use the formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I recommend you write down the formula every time you do one of these problems until you've memorized the formula. Then you can just plug in as, the, as you go. But don't keep looking back to the formula and filling it in, and then you get to the test and you don't remember the formula. So I'm going to write down the formula for each problem. OK, so now I just plug things in. Now notice b is negative 1, so I go the opposite of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 5. All over 2a, 2 times 2. Notice we say all over 2a because the whole thing's over 2a, not just the square root. Okay, so let's, look, we'll go over here, x equals. Well, the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1, and then a plus or minus. Well, it's going to be the square root. Negative 1 squared is 1. Notice negative, well, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Negative 10 times negative 4 is positive 40. So be careful with your signs there. I don't need that far. All over 4. And now I go to the next step. 1 plus or minus the square root of 41 over 4. That can't be simplified. That's not a nice thing to simplify. It's not a perfect square, and there's no perfect squares I can take out. So I'm going to box the answer and leave it that way. Your instructor may want two separate answers, so you would write it as 1 minus the square root of 41 over 4, comma, 1 plus the square root of 41 over 4. So obviously, however your instructor wants you to write it, write it that way so you get full credit. But remember the quadratic formula, however you go about memorizing it, you're going to need this forever in math. And I say forever, at least through calculus, if you go that far. So get that down. You're going to use it this semester, but you'll use it in future semesters also. So make sure you do get that memorized and you know how to use it.